Welcome, this is the quick review of Contax 139 Quartz. First, you have to talk about the parts. Exposure counter. Film speed ring. Film advanced lever. Exposure compensation dial. Electronic shutter. Exposure Compensation Index Exposure Compensation Lock Release or Multiple Exposure Button Accessory Shoe Auto Flash Contacts Direct X Contact for Flash Shutter Speed Index Film Rewind Knob Film Rewind Crank Shutter control dial, X sync terminal, exposure button, auto exposure or lock lever, self timer index, self timer flash, self timer set lever. Depth of field preview button, lens release button, aperture ring, focusing ring, aperture or distance index, lens mount index, and aperture display illuminator. And at the back, Film chamber, data back LED, shutter dial lock release button, viewfinder eyepiece, release socket, his bracket, take up spool, battery compartment cover tripod socket or tripod mount winding coupling terminal film remind release button film drive coupling winder guide hole camera back release lug camera back cover memory holder on the back film pressure plate and how about battery loading first you can use a quarter or a coin to open the battery compartment always check the polarity of the battery At the back of the battery you can find a positive you can use two uh, two piece of LL44. You can buy it in any uh, photo uh, store or in uh, dollar store. Tighten the battery cover by using a coin. To check the battery turn the shutter speed to auto press the shutter button and you can find the uh, if you find a steady LED light on the viewfinder meaning the battery is okay if it is blinking you have to change the battery lens changing 
you have to press the lens release button and turn counter clockwise and to put it back align the red button and turn clockwise film loading Pull the film rewind crank to open the back cover. I'm using a Kodak film 200 ISO. Push the spin there. Carefully put the film. Align the film to a film guide rail. Insert the film to a film takeout spool. Like so. Don't forget to align. Make sure the film is uh, aligned with the sprocket. Carefully crank the lever. Then tighten the film. and then crack and uh, fire the shutter until you get the number one you can notice that the the film is turning usually you can fire the shutter three times until you get the number one when you get the number one you're ready to go and then set the film speed you get 200 so pull the film speed to 200 focusing This is the viewfinder. From the top, you can see the aperture display. Once you change it, it will change to any aperture that you want. Right now, it's 5.6. You can see also the LED indicator, the shutter speeds, and the split the split image center spot. You see the split image spot when you focus. Make sure the subject is in focus by turning the focusing ring. Once the split image comes in a line, you're in focus. Now, when you're in focus, you can see the shutter speed blinking. Right now, you're set on 60. Once you turn the shutter or the aperture, it will give you a suggested uh, shutter speed auto exposure set the shutter speed to auto so the camera will decide what shutter speed to use and then set the compensation to times one self timer set the self timer lever up
then crank it and press the shutter it will give you 10 seconds and you also notice that the LED will light flash mode turn the shutter speed to X by depressing the button underneath and you can install your flash and the camera what decide what uh, what kind of shutter you will use manually setting the shutter speed you can just turn the shutter speed dial once you turn the shutter speed you are uh, you are on 60 suggested shutter speed is 25 so you have to turn the shutter speed until you go to 125 speed and then you can focus the lens to get your subject on focus Closer check so you know what kind of shutter speed you're going to use. Press the exposure check button. Manual focus or manual setting. You can decide what kind of shutter speed or aperture you want to use. Normally you can use F16, F11 or F8 for indoor or under bright sunlight outdoor overcast you can use 5.6 to f4 for indoor and night photography you can use 1.4 1.7 2 2.8 How to use double exposure? You have to do a normal shot, and after that, you can press exposure compression lock or multiple exposure button while cranking the film, and you can take your second exposure. How to use remote trigger these accessories you can buy online ranging for like five to twenty dollars normally use this for uh, bulb mode or long exposure or sometimes the lower shutter speed you can also use this for a tripod for long exposure or slow shutter speed you can check my sample photos this taken last fall 2021 I used 50 millimeter 1.8 and a telephoto lens 80 to 210 millimeter f4 the film that I use is uh, Fujifilm 400 I hope you enjoy my uh, quick review of Contax 139 quarts and for those not subscribed yet please subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching.